Okay, you want to zoom in here. I do this with Alt and mouse wheel. Uh, Alt key is this. I hold down the Alt key and then I use my mouse wheel. Okay, let me show you. I click on this so it is surrounded by blue and I zoom in and out with the uh, Alt key and mouse wheel. That's one solution. Another solution is to use this stuff, this border at the bottom. You can click and drag these uh, circles and they will zoom in and out. Okay, this is basic stuff. Now let's go for some advanced stuff. There's a zoom tool over here. Zoom tool. Here you can double click, which I'm not sure what it is. Well, it centers kind of on the location. You can drag an area and then you will zoom in on that. Let me just go to, uh, this is zoomed out completely. If you click somewhere, it will zoom in. If you draw an area, it will zoom in on that area. Okay, this is still pretty basic. Let's go to edit and go to keyboard shortcuts. Uh, let's make sure you see everything. Just search for zoom if you want to do that as well. Ignore panels. Uh, ignore zoom tool. We already know that. Now what's interesting is sequence. Zoom in, zoom out. I guess if you like the keyboard for some reason and you your hands happen to be at these keys. Uh, okay, but that's not interesting. Interesting is zoom to frame and zoom to sequence. sequence. Now zoom to frame is not assigned. And zoom to sequence might be a key that is rare on your keyboard. It's over here. That's what it is. Uh, it's also located here on my keyboard next to shift on the left. So it's quite comfortable for me. So I'm actually going to zoom to frame assigned to shift and uh, this backslash and control uh, backslash because uh, I'm going to be uh, confusing these two. And this will uh, probably uh, like have conflicts with control Z, but I will figure that out later and reassign if it ha does. So if I press this backslash, I zoom out completely. And if I press it again, I zoom in back to where I was. If I press shift uh, backslash, I zoom into frame level. And if I press backslash, I zoom out completely. Okay, and now shift backslash, I zoom in completely. This is so useful for me. I'm going to use this from now on all the time because this is a bit too slow, this uh, old mouse wheel zoom, and I'm too lazy to use this. Although maybe I, I will also use this more. Not sure. Not really useful on a 1080 screen. I hope this is useful and speeds up your work process. If you happen to know an, another way, an even better way to zoom in and out quickly, because that's what I do all the time, and I'm sure you do also, uh, please tell me in the comments. I really want to improve my efficiency. Uh, zooming is one of the most annoying things so far. Uh, anyways, let me know, and maybe see you in one of my other short uh, Premiere Pro tip videos. Until next time, ciao.